Hey guys, it's Olivia and I'm back with another video. So the topic that I'm going to talk about in this week's video isn't really relevant worldwide. It's kind of more relevant just in Toronto, specifically to my university. So this is gonna be a little bit of a rant. I don't exactly know where this video is gonna go. I just know that I have to talk about it because it's something that needs to be addressed. So on Tuesday, November 2018, at 10.49 a.m., I got this email from my school. And I will be blurring some stuff out because you guys don't need to know what school I go to. But it says, Dear Olivia, I am writing to inform you that beginning January 5th, 2019, Go buses will cease operations from the university campus and will instead operate out of, insert place here that I'm not gonna tell you because it's really close to my school. Um, <laughs> Go riders will need to take the TTC from said location to the university campus. We continue to advocate for full fare integration with the transportation agencies to reduce the financial burden for our students, faculty, and staff. In the absence of full fare integration, Go Transit will offer a discounted double fare of $1.50. A Presto card will be required. So, a little bit of background information. I take the Go bus to school. It goes straight from the bus station to my school. No transfers, no nothing. From here to here, I get off the bus and I'm at school. What they're saying is the Go bus is no longer going to go to my school's campus. So it's gonna drop us somewhere else. Mind you, this place is past the campus. So let's say I live here, my school is here, and the new drop off point is here. So we have to pass my school, then I have to take a different bus from there onto the campus. And so it already costs me about $15 to get to and from school, about $7.50 one way so now they're saying oh to accommodate expenses the second bus we're not going to charge you 750 we're only going to charge you 150 but that's an extra 150 one way but then another 150 to go back home so that's an extra three dollars a day which doesn't sound like a lot but it definitely adds up. If you go to school five days a week, that's an extra $15 a week, which is an extra $60 a month. The thing is, I feel like this is what, like people in general don't understand, which they should, regardless of whether or not they went to university, but especially if they went and they had to go through this financial burden, which they're trying to relieve us from, they should know this. I know that school's been in session for two months, so it's not exactly the beginning of the school year, but whatever. Two months ago, do you know how many things I had to pay for? And do you know how many things that I still have yet to pay for? Because you do realize university is two separate semesters, and at least at my school, you don't have to pay everything at once. So I currently have only paid half of my tuition for this year, so I still have the other half to pay. So not only do I have to think about how much money I've already spent, I also have to think about how much money I'm going to have to spend. And now I have this extra expense. So this is all the money that I've paid so far. So I've paid half my tuition, which was thousands of dollars. I've paid about $2,000 in textbooks just for this semester. And then I spend $45 a week just to get to the building. So I have to pay for my tuition so that I can attend the school. I have to pay for the books so that I can actually do the coursework. Then I have to pay $45 a week just to get to the building so that I can attend the school. It's already so expensive. And now they're gonna make it even more expensive. And the thing is, I said $45 a week. I only go to school three days a week. I go to school Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday because that's when I have classes. I make sure not to have classes five days a week because I know that I cannot afford to be spending $75 a week. Plus, now they're gonna be adding another $3 a day, so that's an extra $15 a week. So that is $90 a week if you go to school five days a week, which a lot of people do. That is $90 a week 
in expenses just to get to the building before you've even learned anything. Just to get there is gonna cost you $90. So as I said, I currently only go to school three days a week. And I don't think you understand the struggle. I put $50 a week on my Presto card. This is a Presto card. It's what you use. You go on the bus, you tap it. It's cheaper if you have a Presto card instead of buying a ticket every time, right? So since I know it costs me $45 a week, I put $50 just to like have a whole rounded number. I put $50 a week on it, right? So I remember there was this one week where I had to go to school a fourth day. So as I said, I go to school Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. There was this one week where I had to go on the Monday. And guess what? By Thursday, I had enough money to go to school because I put a little bit of extra money on it. But then when I went on the bus to go home and I tapped my card, it didn't work because I had spent Thursday's fare on Monday. I don't think you understand how much money is already being spent, so much money that I couldn't get home on Thursday, and now you're gonna add more money? And the thing is, starting next semester, I actually have classes four days a week, meaning I have to go to school four days a week now, so I have to pay that extra $3, not three days a week, but four days a week. And sometimes even five days a week. Why? Because I am currently trying out for the track team at my school. I am not currently on the team. But if I make the team, we have meets pretty much every single weekend. And a lot of those meets are out of town. So if there is a meet on a Saturday, we are traveling on the Friday and we meet up on campus at school. So I have to take the bus to school so that I can meet my team so we can go to wherever we're going. So starting next semester, I'm gonna have to pay that $90, the $750 for the GO bus, and then the $150 for the TTC. So that's $9 one way. And then another $9 to get back home. And I already couldn't afford to go to school I could afford to go to school three and a half days because I couldn't afford to go back home. And now you're making it even more expensive. And as I mentioned, all of the expenses that we already have to pay, like tuition and textbooks and stuff, they are making this change at the beginning of second semester. So I don't know if every school does this, but at my university, you can pay your tuition half and half. So I've only paid the first half of my tuition. So I have the other half to pay. So I have to pay the second half of my tuition. I have to pay for all of my textbooks for second semester. And then if I make the track team, I have to pay the team fee. And now I have to pay an extra $3 a day just to get to the building. They're making the increase when everybody has to spend so much money because everybody has to spend pay the second half of their tuition. Everybody has to pay for their textbooks. And now everybody has to pay this increase. They are putting the increase at the worst possible time because they're putting it at the time when people are spending the most money. They don't have that extra $3. You think that $3 a day is not a lot of money? Trust me, that adds up. It's ridiculous. And yes, I understand that if you live on campus, then, oh, it's so much more expensive than commuting. Well, that's the whole point of commuting. If I was gonna pay this much money just to get to the building, I might as well just live on campus. The point of commuting is it's a little bit more of a hassle, but that's why it's cheaper. Like, boarding is more expensive because it's more convenient. You wake up and you're like sleeping right beside your class, right? So the reason why commuting is cheaper is because it's more of a hassle. But now, is it even cheaper? It probably is, but not by much anymore. Like it is ridiculous. They are increasing it by $15 a week. And the thing is, it really only applies to the people that go to my school because the bus is still gonna stop at every other stop. My school is the last stop, and they're saying that they're changing the last stop. So everyone else from every other university, they're fine. It's literally just my school, which is so unfair that we have to spend the extra 150 and no one else does. Do you know how many people commute 
there every day do you know how much more money they're gonna make i don't know if it's a money making thing or if they just like inconveniencing the poor but it's so annoying we're already spending so much money and now you're increasing it that's ridiculous they're literally taking from the poor most yeah I'm sure you've heard the term broke college student because majority of us are. Yes, some people have that rich dad who just pays their way through university, but majority of us are not like that. Majority of us are broke. Like, legit, if you look at my bank account right now, you might be like, ooh, nice, she has money. No, none of that is mine. All of that is student loans. Probably like a good $3 in there is mine. Why? Because I'm broke and I'm jobless, and I'm in university, and I have to take out all these loans, and right as I graduate, I'm gonna owe it all back. Like, I am using my student loan money to load my Presto card every week. So now that they're increasing it, means that I'm gonna use more of that student loan money because I've been trying to use as little of it as possible, but now I'm gonna have to use more of it. I'm gonna have to use an extra $15 a week from that. So by the time I graduate, do you know how much more money I'm gonna owe on my student loans? That is ridiculous. My school started a petition for it. I don't really know what the petition's gonna do. I have definitely signed it because Hello, broke, can't afford the extra $3 a day. I don't know if it's gonna do anything. I don't know if they're gonna make the second bus free or if they're gonna just continue to make the bus go straight to campus. I don't know if the petition is gonna work, but I really hope it does because this is so stupid. Why are you taking money from people who don't have it? Because literally the only people affected are the people going to the university. So yes, I know that that includes like teachers and faculty, or whatever. So maybe they can afford the increase. But for the students, majority of the people who go to a university are students. Like, have, like there's 500 people in a lecture hall and one professor. So there are definitely more students on that campus than teachers and faculty and whatever, whatever. So it's mainly impacting the students. We're already poor and now you're charging us more money. Like all the other regular bus takers are fine because their final destination isn't my university campus. So they're still paying the same money. They are literally directing it at the people who go to my university. No one else is gonna be affected. And that is so ridiculous. And I don't even know whose fault it is. I don't know if it's GO, I don't know if it's TTC, I don't think it's my school because in the email they're the ones saying they're trying to accommodate us and whatever, whatever. I don't know whose fault it is, I don't care whose fault it is, I just want them to fix it because I honestly and truly, I have to spend an extra $30 a week because I'm going to be going to school two extra days next semester, Mondays because I now have class on Mondays, and then Fridays because I need to get to school for track, and now they're adding another $15 on top of that because it's $3 a day times the five days. So it's like I was already prepared to spend the extra 30, but now I need to be prepared to spend an extra 45. That's literally doubling what I'm paying right now. I'm paying 45, and next semester I'm gonna be paying 90. I'm literally doubling what I'm paying right now. And I couldn't even afford to pay that extra $7.50 to go back home that one day. And now you want me to pay an extra $45? No. I'm sorry. I just needed to get that off my chest. I don't know what this video is going to do. I don't know who's going to see this video. I don't know. But it's ridiculous. Literally the only people that are targeted are people that go to my school and the majority of people whose final destination is a university campus are university students. So we're already broke. Stop making us more poor than we already are. So that's all for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry, I just really needed to rant about this because I heard about this last Tuesday and now it's Monday. It's been for the last six days and it's been on my mind so I just had to get it off my chest. And I know that it doesn't really apply to you unless of course one of my fellow 
peers is watching this, but thank you for listening. I know it was very long, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you think your friends will enjoy it, be sure to share it with them. All my social media links will be down below in case you want to follow me on there. Be sure to subscribe to my channel because I make new videos every Monday, and I'll see you next Monday with a hopefully happier video.